Hey guys, Dustin Slade here in Denver. Wanted to make a quick video here to show you how I'm using my R only wire and how I'm getting my RSS feeds with it. So this is my only wire account. This is a place where you can syndicate your content to all these different social medias in here. And it takes a little bit to set up. Um, you get your profiles all filled in, but it's worth it in the long run. So, you know, I haven't been able to find all the RSS feeds for some of these. Bitly was a tough one. I wasn't able to find that one. But I'm going to show you how I'm doing it here. So, here's one Deviant Art. I'm going to go to the tab here and go ahead and sign in. Big website here, Deviant Art. This is really used uh, mainly for art artists graphic artists but you can use it as well so I'm gonna go ahead and log in see if I got this right okay I got that login right what do you know um, so what I'm gonna do is you can see the URL here is just a um, just the regular URL. I want to find out my page and find out my RSS feed. So what I'm going to first do is go to my profile. Doesn't matter what uh, social media you're on, you should be able to find your profile page. And now you can see my username is in here, DustinSlade.DeviantArt.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the feed for this particular page here that's all my posts and everything and this the accounts brand new so there's not much here so what I want to do is go to um, I've got a couple options first thing I can do is look around here and see if there's an RSS feed button uh, that that it looks like this this green thing here looks like a Wi-Fi signal on the side so first I'll look inside and see if anything, you know, I don't know this this social media at all. I just started it, just got uh, signed up with it, so I don't really know it at all. I don't know where that RSS feed would be. So I'm just going to take a quick peek, make sure it's not down here at the bottom uh, on the sides or anything. I don't see anything. So one thing I'm going to do is just see if my... Um, see if my let's see if there's anything in here settings feedback it's it's hard to find I can't see anything in here so what I'm gonna do is go to my Firefox and see if there's a RSS feed so on your Firefox browser there's a built-in bookmark feed here and it's got this uh, button subscribe to this page so what you can do is click on the subscribe to this page It'll come up in here and just set a, uh, a bookmark. And what you can do is subscribe to it there. And it'll put it in a, into a uh, <clears throat> folder for you here. I've got mine right here. So it just uh, made a RSS feed for my DeviantArt site like this. And what it's got is it's got all these different pages that I put up here now and syndicated all these different things. You can see I'm getting a couple double posts here. You don't want that if you can avoid it. So what I'm going to do is just hover over um, some of these like this. And I don't see any RSS feed in there. So that didn't work. Because on some of them, like if you go up to my um, my Bibsome, Bibsome, and you hover over it, um, that's not a good example either. Let's try another one. Let's see. This is for um, my blogger account. Let's see. Pinterest account, Blogster account, 
I just don't see any of those. What I can do is come down, click on the property, right click, and go to properties. There we go. This is one other way you can do it. There's a couple different ways, but see the feed location in here? It's got the uh, got the RSX in here, R RSS in the URL, you can't, this is what you're looking for guys, so when I subscribed there it was in here, so what I'm going to do is copy this, and I just want to validate it, make sure that that is in fact the URL for this, so I'll come over to this feedvalidator.org, and I'll go ahead and plug in that URL, and make sure that it's an actual validated feed, which it is. Congratulations, it's validated, and it's got all the code in here to validate it. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. It's got, you know, if your you if your username is in the URL, and it's got the RSS in there too, you're usually pretty good. But this is one way to double check it. So. Hope that helps, guys. I'll show you one more example since that was kind of a stumble, stumbly little part there. Let's go to another one. Uh, Digo. Digo. Let me log into that one. And I don't even know what Digo is. I'm just going to search for it because I thought it was digo.com. It's not. Yeah, it is. H-T-T-P-S D-I-I-G. I must have spelled it wrong. You sign in. And when you're uh, opening a, a OnlyWire account, you're going to get the option to um, sign up with um, <clears throat> all these different social medias that you're already involved with. I wouldn't recommend that because what happens is it populates the uh, account with your Facebook or Twitter username and password. And what that does is it, it makes it so that when you try and log into one of these accounts to activate it, you'll see what happened here. Here's one of them, incorrect login. <clears throat> so it, it, it populates with the Facebook login and it never gave you a chance to put in your username and password correctly there. So make sure you just sign up with a new uh, uh, username and password and, and try and avoid signing up with these types of uh, accounts here because it it just it'll cause you a little bit of headache to go back and forth. So let me log in. And this is a way you can validate your um, accounts too. So when you plug in the username and password and only wire, you make sure that you're you're on point here. So Digo, it's got a little bit of uh, things in here posts I've made already. Let's see if I can find. You can see at the top, it's got my user, my name in here. So we're on the right track. And what we're gonna do is look for that RSS feed. Here it is, right down here, guys. Look at that. So you click on this, and it's going to take you to the bookmark page. What you could do is just go ahead and bookmark it, and wherever you're storing your uh, RSS feeds, either store it in there, then once it's saved, you come back in there, go to your, um, go just go to the main page, main bookmark here, right-click on it, go to Properties, and then you'll be able to get the feed location here and copy that out of there. The other way to do it down here is just to right click on it and go uh, copy the link location and that will copy that URL. You can take it into the feed validator here and make sure that it's legit. And again, once your name's in there and RSS is in the URL, you're usually pretty good. Anyways, just double checking that. And that's how you do it, guys. That's pretty easy. Um, it really helps with Firefox. Uh, I'm not sure if it works with other browsers like this, but it, it does help it. 
with Firefox. And then once you have your uh, your feed, what you can do is go over to um, FeedBurner. FeedBurner is part of Google here, and you can paste it into your uh, burn a feed right this instant. Go ahead and click next. Uh, it's giving me an error message. Uh, the URL entered is not valid. So that's where I found this feed validator. I'm saying it's valid here. So one thing I might do is just check this S in here and make sure that that's not causing me a snafu. Go back Try it one more time without the yes and see what happens. Let's go back and make sure that that's legit. We'll put that in to this opt in. Burn a feed right now. Take out the yes. Go to next. Let's burn a feed for you. And it looks like it's good. So, um, We'll burn a feed right away. Boop. And this is, uh, you want to have a little bit of more information on it. If you're a podcast user, you can click this item too. And boom, it's in your feeds. Good to go, Google Feed Burner. And then it'll start to create uh, a location for all of these. And it makes it kind of nice. You click on each one of these, um, it'll, it'll bring up your feed nicely and quick and easy and beautiful and makes a feed address through FeedBurner through it, which is kind of nice. So I do like that. Um, if, when you click on some of these, let's see my Google Plus, and it'll go through and see. Go to the web page for it. And no, that's the main page, not the feed page. Where am I looking for this? Okay. Here's the feed post there. So once you've edited it, you just click on the RSS feed from FeedBurner. And now it shows you my posts here. Um, that were recently done, my comments that I made, and they put puts it in a nice format here like this, makes it with some images, so it pops it out a little bit. Okay, and then the last thing I want to show you on here is take your uh, URL from your RSS feed, take it to FeedShark, and this is a pinging service for blogs. There's probably a dozen of these out there. You take and put in your RSS feed, paste it in there, and again, I'll just take out this S. Make sure it's nice. S just means secure on your browser. Uh, click on the services to accept RSS feeds, and enter the captcha, and boom, it will go ahead and ping it. Not to very many services, but you know, blog, feeds farm, moreover, feed directory, Yahoo, bulk feeds. So it, it'll give you what is this? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen places it'll uh, go ahead and ping to there. So once you have that done, that's all you have to do, guys. Boom, you're up and running, and you have your uh, RSS feed. Once it's validated in here, you're good to go. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I'll show you what I'm doing.